Brett May, a name that echoed through the narrow streets of Doncaster, carried with it a story as tangled and colourful as the graffiti that adorned the brick walls of the town. Born in the heart of Yorkshire, Brett's life had been a roller coaster of ups and downs, a tale that had taken an unexpected turn into the realm of redemption. Brett's journey post-prison was as much about rediscovering himself as it was about creating a new identity. He emerged from the confines of the prison walls with a determination to break free from the shackles of his past. It wasn't just about avoiding trouble, it was about reinventing himself entirely. One of the first things Brett changed was his appearance. His hair, once a nondescript mop, now bore a striking resemblance to Busta Rhymes' iconic style, a wild and bold testament to his newfound confidence. He strutted through the streets of Doncaster with an air of defiance, the rhythm of his steps in sync with the beats of his favorite hip-hop tracks. But it wasn't just about the external changes for Brett. His life had been built on a foundation of lies, and he decided to turn that narrative around. Instead of weaving deceitful tales, he began to spin stories of inspiration, of resilience, and of a man determined to rise above his past. It was his way of shading the weight of guilt that had lingered in the shadows of his actions. Brett's journey of self-discovery took an unexpected turn when he stumbled upon a local gym. Drawn to the world of combat sports, he began to train, absorbing the techniques and discipline required for a different kind of redemption the kind that came from mastering one's body and mind. His passion for the ring wasn't just about the physical aspect, it became a mental and emotional battleground where he faced his demons head-on. As he honed his skills, an unexpected twist emerged an intellectual side that sought not only physical prowess but also a strategic understanding of the art of combat. Embracing his newfound persona, Brett boldly threw down the gauntlet. Despite being an amateur fighter at best, he challenged the local bare-knuckle champion to a fight that captured the town's attention. The bout was set, the stakes were high, and Brett May, once a name synonymous with trouble, was now a symbol of transformation and defiance. The night of the fight arrived, and the atmosphere was charged with anticipation. The crowd, a mix of skeptics and believers, gathered to witness the spectacle. Brett, with his Busta Rhymes-inspired haircut and a demeanor that spoke of both vulnerability and strength, stepped into the ring. As the first bell rang, Brett moved with a grace that belied his past. His movements were a fusion of raw power and calculated finesse, a testament to the intellectual training that had elevated his skills. The fight unfolded like a dance, a symphony of punches and dodges that left the audience in awe. In the end, Brett May, the reformed troublemaker from Doncaster, emerged victorious. The cheers of the crowd echoed through the town, not just for the bare-knuckle champion but for the man who had conquered his own demons in the process. Brett's journey continued and his story became one of inspiration for those who believed in the power of transformation. As he walked through the streets of Doncaster, no longer burdened by the weight of his past, Brett May carried himself with a quiet confidence. A living testament to the fact that redemption could be found in the most unexpected places.